Hello everybody, uh, Edwin here with another edition of NE Fishing uh, coming at you from my backyard and uh, today I want to do something uh, a little bit different uh, but nonetheless fishing related uh, and I want to do a little uh, review uh, and breakdown of my float tube which I have right here. Uh, now in case you're wondering this is a uh, Outcast brand Fish Cat 4. Um, I don't know if they still make this model uh, if they do, there's probably an updated version of it on, on, on their website. Um, as I've had this one now for probably about 10 years or so, uh, or close to that. Um, but before we get into the breakdown of the, uh, uh, of the flow tube, uh, I also wanted to do a quick uh, show everybody how to replace one of the air bladders, as there's two air bladders, one in each side here, uh, that unfortunately, uh, at some point, you're gonna have to replace the air bladder. They, 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 the seams burst, or you accidentally burst one of the air bladders, whatever it is. Uh, you can just contact the uh, uh, manufacturer and order a um, uh, a whole new air bladder. You can easily replace. So we're gonna get that started. I have the air bladder right here, and all we're gonna do is take out this air bladder. We're gonna take out the one. Uh, from the float tube and install this one in its place as you can see here's the valve right here which we just need to basically squeeze this into the uh, opening uh, of the float tube and it'll be ready to go uh, once we get the, that replaced uh, I'm gonna blow it up so you can see it in its full glory and we're gonna get into specifics of everything that comes included and everything that you'll need uh, to put this out on the water all right so stay tuned okay so we're gonna be replacing this air bladder here which is the one on the right if you're sitting in the float tube so we're just gonna open this up it's just got a whole zipper here that holds everything together and we're just gonna start to let me unbuckle this and we're just gonna pull the air bladder out and it's held by a little velcro strap right in here once you open that up this pulls right out very easily and it's held by a little velcro strap up here as well, which I've already pulled out. The only thing we gotta do is squeeze the valve out through this opening and we'll take it out. And as you can see, this is the opening, unfortunately, where my seam tore up on me and uh, that's why I gotta replace it. There's no way to fix that, unfortunately. So let's just pull this out by just gently tugging away at it and it will pop out there we go here's our right air bladder right there so let's put that aside and pop the new one in so let's open this up there we go Obviously, it can only go in one way, which is this way. This will go inside. There we go. Let's reattach this in here by just attaching the little Velcro strap to this little loop here that the manufacturer has installed. So it keeps stays locked in place right there pop that back in there and now let's pop the valve through the hole okay. so here's our opening and we just got to start to uh, work this right through And you can just push it little by little until you get it all the way around the rim. There we go. That's it. It's that easy. All right. We're gonna attach this in here, and this is ready to go. We just gotta 
Zip right up. Okay, so if you get the package deal from the uh, manufacturer, um, you'll more likely than get uh, the uh, flippers that come with the uh, flow tube. This fish basket here that installs in the front with a, a measuring uh, a ruler there uh, and a uh, air pump, manual air pump, double action hand pump. Um, which uh, if you want to, you can you know buy all these things separately if you want to. Uh, if you want to, you can invest in a little bit more uh, uh, better uh, electric air pump that you can, uh, is battery operated or that you can attach to your outlet in your vehicle um, for faster airflow. Uh, so let's just get this started. We're gonna pump it up right now, attach the correct size valve and uh, blow this thing up. So you've got two valves, one on each air bladder. I've opened up the one here. You open up this top valve right here to uh, put air into it uh, and to release the air. Then you just have to unscrew the whole thing off and that will open up the, uh, uh, the valve for all the air to escape out of. So um, always make sure that this main valve here in the bottom is nicely uh, closed tight and that needs to be opened in order to put air in. And there's the other one right there. So uh, let's attach the valve to this and uh, uh, get this thing up and running. All right, so here's our uh, flow tube all filled up with air. As you can see, it's about the size of a recliner. In fact, um, I hate to say this, but when you're on the water on this thing, it feels like you're on a floating recliner, like a, one of those big pool recliners. Um, but obviously it's designed for fishing. Um, the, uh, as you can see, this thing's actually very wide and it's actually very, very stable. Um, not that I recommend it, but I have seen videos of um, some fishermen using this uh, brand uh, standing up on the seat um, as they're looking out for uh, uh, fish in the water. I actually saw a guy hook up into a tarpon uh, that way, but I don't recommend it. Um, just stay seated and you'll be fine. There's really almost no way that you can tip over on this thing unless you're out in uh, weather that you're not supposed to be in at all or you're doing something stupid like standing up on it or um, trying to lean over too much to the side or something. This thing is super stable. Um, I've taken this out on lakes, small ponds, and even some small rivers. Um, and as you can see, uh, you can see where you sit. So that's where you sit there and this is uh, this model comes with styrofoam blocks that you just slide inside there. Those provide you your buoyancy uh, and you get a styrofoam uh, block here that provides your, your uh, backrest. And uh, with this model, uh, what I did was I added an extra piece of styrofoam right there, uh, which gave me a little bit more uh, lip right here um, on, the, on the edge. You can see it right there. And this prevented water for, from coming over in here. So that way in the summertime, I'm not uh, sitting uh, on, a, uh, you know, on a wet seat for uh, too long. Uh, so that's one little modification I made. Uh, this right here in the back, this is a very cheap and crude uh, rod holder that I, I made. As you can see, it's just two PVC pipes separated by a piece of uh, foam held together with tape. And they're held down with some uh, adjustable weighting belts. That's it, that's all I did. And this holds a fishing rod uh, right there very easily. Oh, here you go. 
This is how simple and effective this is. Fishing rod sits right there on top of that, right behind you, out of the way for casting. Uh, with this setup, I can actually carry three rods with me, uh, two in the back and one that I'm holding in the front. So I can actually change lures or very easily or change tactics very easily. Um, this thing comes with handles on the side. There's another one on that side, so you can carry it very easily. Uh, it also has a handle right here in the corner, right there, which I've attached a uh, about a six foot rope to, so that can be easy to for me to just drag this along. And sometimes it's easier to carry it that way than to carry it by hand. Um, let me take this fishing rod out of here. Now. To show you this this thing if you think it's small you'd be surprised how much this thing can carry uh, it's got two pockets on each side as you can see right there uh, you've got like a little mesh pocket here on this side and on that side as well you can carry essential uh, things you need right away but these pockets carry a lot and they're actually very deep in fact most of the time you're probably going to be carrying more than you need um, and if you want to see how much this thing fits here we go, just for uh, kicks here. I'm gonna throw, carry your camera equipment, carry uh, leader material, put this uh, tackle box in there. Here's some more accessory items. Carry your uh, camera equipment in here. I mean, look at that. Yeah, more more equipment, more gear. So this thing can hold a lot of hardware. It can hold a lot of uh, small tackle boxes with hard lures, accessories. Uh, it can hold tons of plastic uh, uh, for uh, summer fishing. So this thing carries a lot. And it also, just in case if you're out there for a long day, this is a built-in uh, beverage holder. So you can actually put in your beverage of choice right in there and it's got one on each side um, and if you want to okay and if you want to uh, on the back uh, this isn't really recommended for carrying but I sometimes will fit in a small lunch bag in there um, just to carry a lunch if I'm out for a long day uh, just keep in mind though whatever you put in this back area here this does fill in with water uh, don't worry, <laughs> it's not gonna sink. It's actually got like scupper holes on the bottom, which I'll show you in a second, but you can actually store some stuff here too. Just keep in mind that whatever you put in here will get wet. All right, so let's flip this thing uh, over on its underside and I'll show you how durable this thing is. So let's flip this thing over. Now, there's a couple other features on this. Now, these right here are drain holes. They're, they act like little scupper holes in a kayak so any water that goes inside will drain out right through there and as you can see there's two little uh, places here on top and on the bottom and what now what this serves is if you're gonna be hiking into an area now you can carry this thing from the top handle if you want to but these two straps you can actually attach um, uh, a belt to this to each side and then you can mount this on your back like a large backpack for easier carrying and trust me <laughs> this thing it looks heavy and cumbersome but it's not that heavy at all now now that we're looking at the underside let me show you something here talk about the durability on this thing can you see all the little scratches and scuff marks on this thing that is because myself and my friend Nick, who has his own uh, YouTube channel called Tackle Advisors, uh, he actually owns one of these. Actually, he owns the Deluxe model. And the um, difference between his model and mine is that instead of styrofoam blocks, it comes with um, inflatable cushions. Um, there's pros and cons to that. Um, and I think his also came with turbo fins, which I'll explain that in a second. Um, but he, other than that, he has the same model, uh, just a different color. And as you can see, we've taken these things out, uh, dragging them over uh, some sharp rocks and pebble areas and rocky areas um, through the mud and everything like that. And you can see how durable they are. This thing has lasted me 10 years so far and it's still in damn good condition. 
Um, the only thing I've had to replace so far is, has been the air bladder. Other than that, everything else has held up very well. Um, so, it, it, now you're talking about a something that will expand on your fishing, especially if you're a shore-based angler. This could be uh, a great uh, incentive for you. Um, now, when I got this, I think I got the package deal for around two fifty, three hundred dollars. Uh, I think it's still around that ballpark figure. Um, I'll 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 put in description what the value is currently. I don't think it's more than three hundred right now. Um, so it's not ex so overly expensive, and if you're a shore-based angler, um, this will get you out on the water to some of those areas that you can't reach, um, fish those rivers that always seem uh, like you can never get to, those spots you can never get to, this will get you there. And it's lightweight, you can throw it in the back of a uh, four-door sedan if you want to, you can throw it inside the trunk, and I know you can because that's how I used to transport mine. Um, and you can even throw it in your closet of your apartment. So it's a great fishing vessel that takes up very little space and will get you out on the water um, and to those spots that you can't reach from shore, okay? Uh, other than that, if you're a seasoned angler and you want something, a different experience, this could also be for you. Now, <laughs> let me tell you something. Uh, as an experienced angler, one thing that's a lot of fun with this is catching a good size bass uh, or a pike or something that this thing, if it's like a three pounds or better, that fish will actually tow you around. It will turn you 360. Um, it's, it's no different than going for a, uh, a kayak sleigh ride if you hook into a big fish on a kayak, uh, which is a lot of fun. Uh, besides the fact that you then have to, uh, you know, get you know, up, and, up close and personal with the fish uh, to land it. Um, so as you can see, this thing comes with a lot of great features um, that could be right up your alley. It's got clips here on the side that if you want to, if you're fishing an area where it's just a little windy or a little current, you can actually attach an anchor line to this. Um, this is a five pound anchor. You don't need five pounds. You can do just fine with three. In fact, um, me and my buddy, as a quick thing, we actually bought some cheap two pound little dumbbells and we're using that as an anchor and that worked fine. Um, now, now to talk about the, uh, the fins that it comes with, as you can see, these are not like scuba fins or recreational fins. These are actually a little harder plastic. Uh, uh, they're wider, uh, a little bit stiffer, and that's to propel you in the water. Uh, these do not go over your bare feet. These go over uh, an old pair of sneakers or preferably wading boots. You can put them on there and strap them down and these things will propel you through the water, okay? Uh, so your feet will, from your, you're basically, from your knees down um, will be in the water and the rest of you will be on top and you propel yourself backwards. And don't worry, it's actually very easy to maneuver in this thing. And uh, now, if you're thinking that you will never catch a big fish on this, trust me, I've seen guys use these to fish for tarpon. There's a great uh, episode of Babe Winkleman, if you know who that is, where he actually got on one of these and uh, hooked and fought a sturgeon on one of these. Um, and I also saw a video of a guy uh, in Europe where he landed a really good sized Wells catfish on one of these as well. So they're very versatile, uh, easy to maneuver, easy to use, and they'll get you out there uh, to those areas and to those fish that are hard to get to from shore. I can't say that enough. Um, it comes with this fish basket. I think this is mostly primarily for anybody who fishes for trout fly fishing because I see a lot of fly fishermen use this as well. I've never used it. Uh, I'm a bass fisherman primarily, so I've never really used that. It doesn't really serve me much purpose. Okay, let's talk about safety here for a second. Now, like I said before, this thing is super stable. Uh, although you could stand on it, I wouldn't recommend it and you don't really need to. Um, uh, I've never fallen off this thing. I've never had a a you know almost accident on this thing. Uh, I've taken it out on small ponds. I've actually taken it out on some big lakes where I fish certain coves, uh, and I've taken it out on small rivers. With that said, comes a lot of common sense. Common sense says don't go out on a big river that has heavy current. Don't take this out in salt water where there could be. Uh, heavy current and heavy wind and certainly I wouldn't take this out if it's blowing 30 miles per hour out there uh, as well. Uh, another common sense would be don't take this out in the winter time. 
um, <laughs> if you are, make sure you're wearing the proper gear. And by that, I mean like an actual like survival suit that uh, just in case you fall in the water. With that being said, I usually don't take this out until, depending on the weather, if we have an early spring, maybe mid-March, maybe late April. Uh, and I have taken it out all the way up out as far as uh, late October, early November. Other than that, I really don't go out in this thing. And I've always gone out on nice calm days with uh, where it might be blowing about 10 miles per hour, no more than that. Common sense, use common sense, guys. Now, I've never worn a life vest with this, but if you want to, absolutely, you definitely can. Uh, life vests can be very cheap, and believe me, uh, you know, they, 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 they're not cumbersome anymore. Uh, it doesn't hurt to wear one. Um, but again, I've never worn one, not that I recommend it, but this thing is super stable, but don't be deceived by how stable it is. Accidents can still happen. Um, so again, use common sense people please uh, even if you're out waiting still use common sense you don't really want to be waiting out further than you need to or anything like that or trying to climb over an area that you don't need to remember no fish is worth your life all right um, other than that the only thing I could recommend is with how much carrying capacity this thing has you can carry a little first aid kit there with you make sure you take your cell phone with you in a waterproof case um, it, it can be stored in there very easily um, and always let somebody know where you'll be and where you're gonna get off the water uh, at some point okay so that way uh, everyone knows you're safe and you got the water fine um, I've only taken this out by myself a handful of times all the other times I've been out there with a friend uh, in particular uh, tackle advisors uh, who also has his own kayak where we fished out in a small pond at night and uh, we fished a river and everything like that and then we, we always have a great time uh, so if you can get out there with somebody as well all right okay uh, the only other thing I want to add to this is with the flippers um, don't put them on when you're getting to the water um, carry them with you uh, on the side or something like that put them on when you get to the water now it should be said that um, it I don't recommend you try walking with the flippers on if you're uh, for example when we go fish the river uh, there's some very shallow spots where it's easier to actually walk than to um, drift with the river so <laughs> I strongly recommend you don't walk forward with the fins as it'll be like you're walking with giant clown shoes and you can trip and fall and hurt yourself if you have to walk with the flippers on, walk backwards. It's easier, it's safer, and uh, trust me, it just works. Me and my and tackle advisors uh, learned that right away, that it's very uh, easy to walk backwards with flippers. Don't try to walk in the water with flippers forward. You will trip, the flippers will catch on something, and you will fall. Trust me, okay? Um, other than that, again, um, this is an older model. It still works great. Uh, I checked the website recently. Um, they have some updated versions that come with more accessories, um, more modifications. By the way, speaking of modifications, besides the little makeshift rod holder I made here, uh, I've seen guys attach fish finders to their float tubes. Uh, I've seen guys, you know, um, uh, attach more elaborate rod holders. Um, uh, and do other little things that you know to suit their needs so as far as DIY projects go you can still make some modifications with this to suit your needs um, trust me it's only up to your imagination um, other than that uh, I, I do believe the newer models come with more accessories more more options um, in which you don't really have to tinker with it uh, really if, if anything at all um, other than that, like I said, this is a great little investment if you're a shore-based angler. Uh, it gets you out on the water. Uh, it, it really does work. I've, I've caught some nice bass and pike on this thing. Um, and it's a lot of fun when you can catch a fish uh, that of some quality because it will tow you around. It will spin you around. It's a lot of fun. Uh, my buddy Tackle Advisors even caught a uh, tiger muskie on one of these, which was quite an experience. Unfortunately, he didn't get to land it because it broke... Uh, broke him off uh, uh, right before he had a good chance to land it but it was still quite a hell of an experience uh, versatility it's there rivers ponds lakes um, you know it has the carrying capacity um, I, I don't know what more you can ask for so like I said check it out uh, this is the model I have it's the outcast fish cat 4 
um, there are other different models out there and there are other manufacturers out there as well all the different uh, float tube brands uh, but so far right now this is my go this is my go to um, <clears throat> with that being said I'm not sponsored by uh, by outcast uh, although they can give me a call if they want to or if they you know want me to if they want to send me any one of their products for review by all means please do so um, so this isn't a paid advertisement by them or anything like that I just think this is a really good product that will serve uh, that serves its purpose extremely extremely well it's super durable it's lightweight again I don't know what else you can ask for um, so with that being said uh, I'm gonna deflate this thing and uh, put it away for now uh, until I use it again um, you know please comment below if uh, if you own one of these or if you'd like to own one uh, you know if you get one what what would you use it for would you use it to fish for bass catfish pike uh, comment below uh, please post any other questions you may have if anything that I didn't cover uh, in this video and um, I'll, like I said, I'll attach a link to the uh, to the uh, Outcast website if you want to check out their products. Uh, and if you do decide to get something like this, get the package. Don't buy the things individually. You'll save more money. Plus, you'll get everything you need with the package. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please give a like, uh, share it. Uh, and please subscribe to my channel uh, all that supports my channel it helps it grow and it helps me uh, make more videos uh, in the future so uh, stay tuned for that as well all right other than that thank you thank you for uh, spending this uh, time with me and uh, uh, and and taking the time to uh, check out my channel and and my video uh, and uh, I will catch you on the next one tight lines